Hey everyone, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I just received my Bath & Body Works package. I have not opened it yet, so I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing with you guys because a few of these scents I have not even tried yet. So I thought it would be kind of fun to get my first reaction. Um, I like to do that when I can. Um, funny story about this package though, really quickly. So I ordered it from Bath & Body Works. It was the $5.95 Fragrance Mist sale. Um, so I ordered it and I had a coupon for like 20% off. And then probably a week later, I got a FedEx shipping notification. So at first I did think it was my Bath & Body Works order, although usually my Bath & Body Works stuff comes through the mail. Um, so I clicked on my Bath & Body Works um, account page and none of my stuff had shipped yet. So I thought, well, it can't be that. So I'm racking my brain. What did I buy? I haven't purchased anything in a while. This is like the only thing that I've purchased online. I'm asking my son, my daughter, my other son, my husband. I'm like, did anybody purchase anything? I'm like looking through my bank stuff. Nothing's been purchased. Um, so I was so confused. I thought maybe it was just a mistake, but when I clicked yesterday to see when this was going to arrive, um, I realized it did line up with the FedEx date. And then I realized it was the FedEx order. So kind of funny because like I said, I, it doesn't usually get shipped FedEx to me. It has always been the mail. Um, and like I said, it threw me off because my stuff had not shipped when I looked at it. So it's just kind of funny. Anyways, um, you know, sometimes it's like, did I, did I order something? Have you ever had that happen? I mean, I honestly don't shop online that much, but I have had that happen a few times where I'm like, what did I buy? What's coming? Anyways. All right, you guys, let's just jump right in. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to open this box and we're going to get started. All right, you guys, here it is. Okay, so let's just jump right in. First one is Dark Kiss. So this is one that's been out forever. Uh, I know I have smelled this before. I just kind of don't remember. A lot of people do compare it to uh, Into the Night. So it's black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, and dark vanilla bean, bean and plum musk fall under the hypnotic spell of true romance with our exclusive dark kiss. Mm. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of Into the Night. Very much so. This smells a little bit more, it's like less fruity than Into the Night. And I definitely smell the um, the vanilla and like the incense kind of smell. Typically I'm not like an incense kind of person, but I really do like this. I don't like it better than Into the Night. Into the Night, nothing can top. That's my all time favorite. But this is really good. It really is. It's, I feel like it's a little bit more toned down than Into the Night. So Into the Night to me is very, very bold. I feel like this is even a little bit lighter. I really do like it though. Yeah, this will be a good one. Again, it's a little bit lighter in my opinion, but it does have more of like a vanilla feel than like the fruity, deep berry vibes that Into the Night has. I do like it though. Speaking of Into the Night, let's just get this out of the way. You guys know it was on sale. I got to buy a backup. You guys, this is my absolute favorite scent. Um, I'm paranoid they're going to get rid of it. I don't ever want to be without it. It's my favorite. So, and my daughter uses this. And between the two of us, we actually do go through some fragrance. So, I always want to have that. So, I, if there's a sale and I have a coupon, I just, I'm going to get it. The next one is one I have not tried. This is Magnolia Charm. This one says Dewy Pear Blossom Blooming Magnolia and Fresh Cedar. 
Uh, graceful blooms burst, signaling the first sign of spring. Creamy white petals blended with sweetly scented sunshine are nature's promise of the season to come. I love their little notations about each scent. Mm. I definitely smell the pear, but it's very clean. I do like this. Okay, to me, this smells like a really clean perfume. Like it's a scent that reminds me of a perfume, but it smells very clean and it smells like one that you would be able to wear to work or to church and not be offensive at all. It's fruity, but clean. It actually, rem you know what? This kind of reminds me of Dior um, J'adore. Like seriously, just a little bit lighter. Yeah, I really do like that. And I do like the bottle, it's really pretty. All right, the next one is Fresh Cut, Fresh Cut Lilacs. Beautiful bottle. This is Lilac Bouquets, Dewy Greens, and Soft Spring Air. I do like this a lot. This smells very fresh. I do smell the lilacs, obviously, but it smells really good. It smells unique. Like I don't recall having smelled anything that, that reminds me of this at Bath and Body Works. It smells very, very, obviously very florally. It's like a very sharp floral scent, but it's very good. I do, I do like this a lot. It's very pretty. The next one I have is Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. This is such a pretty bottle too. I love these colors. These to me are like the best summer colors. This is Passion Fruit, Pineapple Leaves, and Banana Flower. This is very soft, very tropical. It does, it smells like a combination of passion fruit and banana. Very nice. It, to me, this is something that would be great to wear to the pool or to the beach. If you just wanna smell really nice and like summer, and it is sweet, but it's one of those scents that you can wear during the summer, even on the hottest of days, because there's just something about it that's just perfect for like the hot summer weather. I do like this a lot. It's very pretty. It's very light. It is a good, it is a good scent. All right, the next one I have is an oldie, but I've always wanted to get it, and I just decided to get it. This is Night Blooming Jasmine because I personally love jasmine. So I thought, let me just try it. So this is jasmine flower, white musk, and apple blossom. Dreamy and subtly sweet with a magnetic floral allure, beautifully intoxicating at any hour. So I'm noticing like a lot of the older fragrances have like these little notations about the fragrance. The newer ones really don't. I like that though. This smells really good. Not as much like jasmine as I would like. Like I love a bold jasmine. Not a lot of people do. This just smells really clean. Like, like this smells like you just got out of the shower. You got out of the shower, you put a really nice florally fragrance on, but you still smell really clean from the shower, but you do have like a little bit of fragrance on. That's exactly what this smells like. I actually really do like it. And again, it, it doesn't remind me of anything. I do think it smells unique, which I feel like that's, get, by now it's gotta be hard to do with Bath and Body Works, and I do feel like they do repackage a lot of scents, but this does smell unique to me. Um, and I do like it. 
yeah, it's really pretty. It's really pretty and clean. So I like, I like it. The next one I got is Hello Beautiful. Again, I think this is an older fragrance. This is White Gardenia, Jasmine Petals, Magnolia Blossom, Pink Nectarine, Cotton Musk. It says, say hello to beautiful, fresh flowers picked just for you. I do like the packaging. I think it's really pretty. This one doesn't smell super unique, but it does smell really good. I definitely smell a little bit of the gardenia and a little bit of the jasmine. This kind of reminds me of, this kind of reminds me a little bit of Coach fragrance, their signature scent. It was in the little uh, square rectangle-ish bottle. It was clear. Um, it did smell a lot like gardenia. It's really strong though. This is a little bit lighter, of course. I do smell the magnolia blossom. And a little bit of the cotton musk kind of sweetens it a little bit. This is really pretty. It's not super unique, but this is beautiful. Like, it's not bad at all. Definitely a fun one to wear when you want to smell just really clean and good. I like this a lot. Very nice. And I love the packaging. It's so pretty. The next one is also an older one. This is Mad About You, Black Current, Bright Peony, Pink Jasmine, White Patchouli, and Vanilla Musk. Our exclusive Mad About You fragrance captures the rush of falling truly, madly, deeply in love. And I don't know that I've ever tried this one. I can't really remember. Mm. This smells really good. This smells very fruity and girly. Like I definitely smell the black currant, but the vanilla musk makes it kind of sweet. Smell a little bit of the flowers. This literally smells, kind of somewhat reminds me of like Viva La Juicy, like the sweeter ones, but not as sweet. To me, Viva La Juicy, is it Viva La Juicy with the pink bow? way too sweet like i used to like it at one point but like i can't wear that anymore it, it's way too sweet and juvenile smelling this somewhat kind of reminds me of that but way better not so sickening sweet and a little bit of, like the flowers kind of balance it out i do like this a lot this is really pretty really girly like really girly all right, and the last two scents I saved are the ones that I really wanted. I mean, I wanted all of these, but like these are the ones from the new collection that I kind of did not even try yet. Well, one of them I've kind of tried because I have the lotion from last year, but the first one is the Beach Nights. This is one I definitely wanted to try. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy vanilla. I feel like creamy vanilla is in everything. It must just be a really good like grounding note. I love marshmallow so I'm really hoping I like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I love this. You guys know that I love Pinkberry Clouds. I actually put it on last night. It smells so good. There is a note in there, well, I love the marshmallow in Pinkberry Clouds, but there is a very strong berry note. I do love it though, it blends very well with the marshmallow. This reminds me of Pinkberry Clouds a little bit with the marshmallow because I love how the marshmallow is done in that. But this is softer, it's creamier. I guess it's like the marshmallow, the s'mores, and the vanilla, oh my gosh i love how this smells i'm so happy i got this it was funny this is the one that i wanted really bad they did not have this in my store it was all sold out i guess 
So I had to order it online. A lot of these scents you can only get online, which is why I went ahead and did an online order versus picking up at my store. Um, and I had the coupon, so I thought it kind of offsets a little bit of the shipping. Oh my gosh, I love this. This will be what I wear today. I really love this. I'm really happy with this one. Very much so, this is beautiful. It just smells so creamy, so delicious. I love this. But anyways, I went back and forth with it. I'm like, I'm not gonna get it. I, I read some kind of like mediocre reviews on it. And then I can't even remember what like put me over the edge again, but I thought I really want it. So I am so glad. I'm so glad that I got it because I really do like it. This one is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. I did see some very, um, I did see someone talking about like the red color in this. Like, why does it have to be red? Like, you have to be careful if you're wearing white and you're spraying it. This is creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. It says sparks fly and fireworks light up the sky. It's the star smangled season. Yeah. I don't know why it has to be red. I'm not a fan of that. I guess it does kind of go, I mean, it's kind of clear when it sprays out. Mmm. This smells very good. This smells literally like cake. Like cake batter. Delicious. This smells better than my um, lotion does. My lotion I got from, I think Amazon. It was Amazon or Etsy. It was new. I mean, it was like packaged all brand new, but it was from like either last season or the season before and who knows I mean maybe it went bad a little bit it just has it has a delicious cake smell but it was it's a little plastic smelling however I will say in the past that has been my complaint about the actual lotions so I do prefer the body creams and I always started getting the body creams because they never have that plastic smell they smell very true to the scent the lotions to me always had a plastic scent. Well, present day now, you know, people talk about the scents and they're like the actual lotions last a long time, whereas these body creams, they go bad quicker. So I kind of go back and forth between, you know, getting the body cream and getting the body lotion. Um, I do prefer the body creams though, but I feel like if it's a scent that I'm not sure if I'm gonna use up right away i do usually get the body lotion because i don't want it to go bad when i got confetti cake pop they only had it in the lotion so i was wanting to try it so bad i do like it but like i said that plastic smell that i have noticed in the past is really bad in that this smells really good really good definitely like this one a lot too if you are a gourmand lover, then you have to get these two, like have to. I love it all. I'm a gourmand lover, but I also love fresh. I love fruity. I love it all. Yeah, I love everything. I just, I love fragrance. It's my thing. Yeah, we hosted my family last night and my niece was like, wow, you have the biggest collection. This is awesome. Um, yeah, I know it is a lot and see like my family, well, most of my family, they don't know that I have a YouTube channel. Um, I do like to do reviews. I, you know, and they don't realize like I, my collection is like nothing compared to a lot of people's collections, but I truly love it. Like I truly love fragrances. I love wearing fragrances. It's just, it's my thing. So I, none of this to me is like, too much because I love it all I will wear it all um, it just really makes me happy and I love that I have a beautiful place to display it now so I know a lot of you feel me like not everybody there's only a certain few of us that get each other but if you watch my videos and you watch my Bath and Body Works videos then you get it and you and you know like you know this is not as excessive this is like just what we do it's normal we love it so anyways all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this haul. I did. It was so much fun trying all these scents that either I don't remember 
or that are, you know, newer to me. So anyways, all right, guys, I'm about to head into work for the day. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day and a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.